Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. I got my gross little paws on the Beauty Bay Bright 2.0. It is huge, 42 pans of rainbow. Now 100% of the net proceeds during the month of June are going to LGBTYS which is LGBT Youth Scotland. So a pretty fabulous cause all in all. Um, yeah, I did this particular look. It's inspired by the pan flag, believe it or not, underneath all this fringe. There is a look. But if you want to see how I did this, want to see if some swatches, by the way, I'm going to struggle to fucking swatch this on my face. That's going to be fun. I'll do that after I've had a night out. And uh, yeah, if you want to see that, you want to see the look, you want to see my opinion. <gasps> Ooh, your cheeky thing. Well then, this is the video for you. Do please keep on watching. I'm just back from having dinner out. So I figured, why not, when I still have a full face of makeup on, do the swatches. Uh, I am a bit worried that I don't have enough face for 42 pounds worth of eyeshadow, but we'll soon see. I'll be honest with you lads, I'm pretty impressed that I managed to shove all of this onto my face and have to say, also a bit sad that I didn't go out like this to dinner. I've never looked so beautiful. Yeah, anyways, I hope you can see from this, I mean, bananas colour story, but also very good pigment. Granted it's not a face of foundation, which has been set BT dubs, but like, I'm pretty impressed. Anyways, uh, believe it or not, I do attempt to improve on this look by doing the eye look. So that is the next portion of the video. Or you can X out now. And uh, I won't judge you for it. I really won't, because this has been a strange day. So this is actually my second attempt with this palette. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I just am an idiot and had a particular idea in mind and it didn't fucking work. So, when all else fails, just do a fucking cut crease, Teresa. Yeah. Anyways, I'm using uh, the Brights 2.0. Let's get into it together. So I'm just using this Sigma E36 and I'm going into the shade a Sunflower. And my lordy, is this a huge palette. I wanted to start off and use a yellow because, well, you know, yellows are kind of tricky to get right and get them pigmented without them being like patchy. So I kind of started off with that and then I was like, Oh, on my channel at the moment, like, because it's obviously it's Pride Month, so all of the looks um, that we're doing on releases of rants are all Pride inspired. And I thought, well, I'm pan, why not do the pan flag? So hence the yellow, pink and blue. And then I was like, fuck it, put purple in there as well. So I don't really know what I was doing. Also purple and then white and pink for the trans flag. It all got a bit confusing. I got overly excited and just was like, smash everything onto your face, Teresa. And uh, because I had nobody here to tell me not to do that, well, this is what happened. But as you can see, really nice pigment of yellow. I was quite pleased with this. Obviously my review of this palette is gonna be super limited because I've only tried a couple of shades, but I feel like I've tried enough of kind of beauty based palettes in general to kind of let you know what I think of this and does this kind of line up with their previous palettes and their previous formulas. The annoying thing is that um, my left eye is watering like crazy on the end so I'm like oh this is gonna be a wasted look but sure look what am I doing with my life? I don't know somebody has to tell me you tell me I'm very confused I'm just bringing it down here under the lash line because I can do what I want oh I'll do it on the other eye too you can't stop me and then the same brush again and I'm going into taxi and it's quite funny because like in my mind this doesn't really look like the yellow taxi color but I can I can understand where they're going it's more of like an orangey shade though now Obviously the proceeds of this, 100% of the net proceeds are going to LGBTYS, so that's Youth Scotland. How amazing is that? Now I have to say every year Beauty Bay really does well in terms of their pride collection, like 
this isn't the first time that they've ensured that 100% of the proceeds go to an appropriate charity. So I have to say, like, I'll whinge about, you know, beauty pay every so often, but like, when it comes to this, I actually think they know what they're doing and they've got like some really good ideas. And let's be real, we all kind of slightly lose our minds when it comes to beauty bear. Is it maybe just me? I don't know. I'm now taking this blank canvas E10 and I'm going into the shade Circus. And like, I feel like the bottom row of this palette is super reminiscent of the berries. So, you know, there probably are some dupes in there. I'm sure somebody else has probably done a video on that at some point. But like, it makes sense. It's, it's a rainbow palette. It'd be a bit weird to not have your red pinks in there as well. But um, I think this shade and the next shade that I'm going to show you, they actually come off very, very similar on the eyelid, which you really wouldn't expect because they look very, very different in the pan. But I was, I was kind of surprised when I was putting the two of them together. But uh, I'll show you that now in a second. But look, you can obviously, all, all I'm doing is just swishy swishy I mean I'm doing the exact same thing I do in every fucking eye look because I have no inspiration I tried to do something a bit different today and just nothing was working because of my gross creasy eyelids it's very annoying same brush again and I'm going into shock this time so for me I feel like the two of these look quite similar on the lid this one is maybe a little bit more bright but by the time that you kind of blend it out you stop noticing the difference, or at least I do. But it could also be that I'm old and can't be bothered. But like you can see, everything blends really well. It's not a major surprise. Very, very similar in terms of their previous matte formula. So if you like their mattes here, guess what? Like if you like their previous mattes, you're also gonna like the mattes here. So there's no major deviation there, which I'm glad about. I don't need more change in my life. So I've started doing this thing recently where I just like sketch an outline of the outside of the eye and I can't stop doing it. <laughs> so I'm doing it now. I'm taking the BH106 as sort of a liner pencil and I'm going into the shade Storm. Because again, I can't stop using blacks on the outside of the eye. I just, I don't know, just I'm for it. And I love, 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 love that this palette includes a black and a white. Like for me, I think this might be one of their best. Like I prefer this to the original Bright Mattes, just saying. And then same brush again, and I'm going into the shade Infinity. So this is again where I'm kind of gonna say to you, hey, if you have the Midnight palette, you probably like already have shades that are very, very similar here. So you may not need this. But if you're watching this, you're probably like me. I'm past the point of needing a palette a very, very long time ago. So I hear you, I see you, and you are appreciated. But yeah, you see there's a, a nice amount of pigmentation there. Like, god damn it, they do blues really well, like really, really well. Don't understand it, but I appreciate it. Same brush again, because I'm a lazy bitch, and straight into swim. And again, just popping that there, nothing major, and just working it out towards the end. And now I'm taking this Cash Beauty brush and I'm going into the shade Swim. And I'm just popping it there, like around where the temples are, I guess that's the correct word, and just bringing it in here. Um, I had a little bit of trouble initially getting this to um, like blend with the pinks, but I did my, well like, I say trouble, it's just like it didn't blend immediately and I'm impatient. Um, so <laughs> I just did my normal thing of like, take a half and half, so, a bit of one shade and a bit of the other shade onto the same brush and just went bleh. So yeah, if you're like me and you just can't be bothered, that's the thing to do. Although my lovely girl, Missa and Tia and Elena, they'll blend and blend and blend. And I'm like, oh God, no, I have no time. Life is slipping away. Oh no, I can feel like the aging process occur while I'm blending. I just I have no patience for it. I really don't. So does this look a little bit ratchet at the moment? Yes, it does, but that's okay. It'll vaguely come together um, because it is such a like <laughs> ridiculously simple look. I had another idea in mind where I wanted to do like a star on the inside, but because my eyelids are so fucking creasy and foldy, nothing was working. So I just, 
I had to give up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that shade Swim and the shade Shock. I had to think there for a second. And pop it there. You see how I've just totally bypassed attempting to blend and just went bleh. So there you go. Welcome to my mind. This is what it looks like. And you can see they do actually mix pretty darn well when you do it that way. So I'm happy with that. Is that a lazy blend? It absolutely is. I'm taking this coloured rain brush and I'm going into the shade Infinity, which is that navy blue. Smacking that on there. What is the technical term? Packing. But whatever, I don't care. Mm, I'm not a professional. Or am I? I love how, um, I'm not, I don't love. <sighs> no, how do I rephrase this? Sorry, brain is completely falling away like wet pieces of cake at the moment. Um, but I saw on Twitter, like everyone's like losing their minds over like Michaela. If you don't know who Michaela is, she's on TikTok and apparently she jumped on a friend's live on TikTok and they apparently had to like disable comments because everyone was talking about how she looks so different because, and then they figured out that she's been using a beauty filter, which I was like, well, yeah, I thought we all knew that. Like, nobody's skin looks like that. Like, they're just, like, and no amount of good lighting makes your skin look like that. So I'm actually shocked that people are shocked. I'm like, I thought this was, like, known and that we just watch her content because, like, she is really, really talented and she makes really nice eye looks. But, like, I wouldn't, like, go to her for, like, a review on like skincare or like foundation because like I don't know what it looks like but I just found it really interesting that people were like shocked I was like oh okay we're, we're shocked are we that's interesting so I'm being a lazy bitch and I'm taking this shade and the other pink shade which was circus because I'm not picking up this palette again it's fucking huge and I'm just gonna pop that there and have the two blend yeah, it's a disgustingly simple look. I know, I hate myself too. I just have had no inspiration. I mean, none. I'm in the middle of like really bad, like really, really bad burnout. Um, like everything is too much. Sounds are too much. Light is too much. Touch is too much. It's great fun. I'm a lot of fun to be around at the moment. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's that's where I'm at. And this is my love, my life. This was given to me by Daniela and I use it all the time for blacks. You've seen this a couple of times if you've been on my channel. I'm using this Zoeva 225, don't even have to look at it, and I'm going into the shade Storm. And there's something about the way that this brush is shaped. It just always like blends it perfectly. And like, I mean, look at that. I've had to do so little and it just puts it together like that. I love this. It's such a great brush, but I will also say, look at how well that black blends. It is very, very good. I'm so impressed with that. Like, hooray. This is, in my opinion, a very, very good black. But mind you, I kind of thought that of their Black in the Midnight palette as well. I'm really impressed with that as well. So, I think they're, look, they're one of the, the best, like, affordable brands out there. Don't always love their customer service. They're a bit of a nightmare when it comes to shipping because even like I had people who ordered at the same time as me and they had their palette the next day because they're in the UK and mine hadn't even shipped. And it's like, oh, okay. See, I'm in Ireland and obviously we can't get next day shipping. So it, it sucks. But um, yeah, just a little bit of preferential treatment. And I know my friend Tia is still waiting on it and she ordered the same time as me, so it is a little bit meh. I'm just taking this blank canvas E10 now, and actually I'm gonna take a little bit of Storm. I know it's very pigmented, so don't take much. Don't don't be an idiot, don't be a hero, okay? And I'm just bringing that down there, just to kinda of make it a bit more gradual, a little bit more blendy blendy. I know, such technical terms. And I'm going into Infinity, which is that deep navy blue. And just popping that there and trying desperately not to poke my eye with bristles. But as we all know, I'm an idiot, so I will. So there you go. There is a little bit of fallout, but it's nothing like major, but just be aware. Um, I'm taking the shade Swim now and I'm just kind of gently popping that there and then going out here so it's a little bit more gradual. 
there's part of me that wishes that I just left it as like almost like a black going like that. Oh well, <laughs> I went for like a fucking cut crease because I'm an idiot. But uh, I was like, I'm not doing this a third time. I'm just not. Same brush again, and I'm going into the shade Playground. And honestly, I just did this so that it would look like these two blended more than they actually did. And uh, I think it helps this quite a bit to look a little bit more kind of cohesive in that sense. But yeah, I kind of wish I had just done like a black. It's too late now though. Everything's too late. It's <laughs> I ruined, you ruined it, Teresa. You ruined it. Oh well, sure look, could be worse. Oh, I'll bring this over here as well. Make it a bit more green. And I'm now taking this Zoeva Petite Fan and I'm going into the shade Active. And I just love the kind of sheen that this gives. It's so pretty. Their shimmers are so good. Yeah, I love the way that this looks. Like I said, this is a disgustingly simple look. And I've used all the easy blending tricks. So if you're of a similar level to me, you'll find this quite easy to do. So, ta-da! And I do like that, like, you know, that their palettes are made for people of different levels. Like, I'm not at the level of, like, say, Tia or Miss or whatever, but I can still make some nice looks. Not at their level, but some nice looks. Anyways, I'm gonna fuck off and I'm going to cut this crease and we'll come back and finish off the rest of it. It's disgustingly simple. Yeah. The glitter glue has been put down and I'm taking my trusted NYX and I'm going into the shade Heather. And I kind of had a little bit of a problem with this on the other eyelid, but it could be because my other eyelid, you know, I obviously had to take off a previous look, but it was kind of like balling up in a really weird way. But it seems to not be doing that now. So, hurra, much, much happiness on that front. Oh God, I fucking love this applicator. Uh, it's the next one, just in case you uh, didn't know. I might put a link down below. It's an affiliate link, probably. Because I'm a greedy bitch, you know? And just popping that over there. And I'm going to take this away with 238 and go into the exact same shade again. And just see, can I get a bit more precision? This isn't my absolute favourite shimmer now, I have to say. Like, I don't know. I don't think there's anything wow about this particular shade. But the next shade that I'm going to show you, that is pretty impressive. So the shade that I actually think is really special is this shade Space. And I'm going to take that now on my finger because screw it, let's get rid of all pretense of sanitariness. And I'm just popping that there. This performs so well. Look at that. Do you try and tell me that isn't gorgeous? And if you do, I'm gonna have to fight you because I think it's beautiful. And now I'm just taking a Spectrum B10, totally dry, and just gonna blend between the two of these. I do feel like Space is just that bit more special than the shade Heather. I feel like the shade Heather is a little bit of a letdown, unfortunately, which is annoying because we have our own beautiful Heather who has her own channel called Powers, P-A-R-R-E-R-S, and I'm sure that Miss is already pissing herself laughing over me, attempting to pronounce Powers. Sorry, I can't pronounce or properly, it's an Irish thing. This is this is how we pronounce it, and uh, if you find that funny, you're a little bit racist. I'm joking, you're, you're fine. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of space, pop it onto that brush, and just swishy swishy. We're really at the end now, because I'm taking my Zoeva 225, and I haven't taken any product on it because there's still loads of Storm, the black shade left. And I'm just gonna swish back and forth on that. And essentially once I've done that, that's it. And I obviously I'm gonna do the liner in case you're wondering. It is the white from the Artitude Cosmetics Split It Paint Liner. Are you surprised? That is my love, my life. I just keep reaching for it. And the white from that I think is pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's it lads. I will come back in a little bit and show you what it looks like and tell you what I think. In case anyone's wondering, I used the MAC Viva Glam 1 as lipstick. Oh God, I love it. Like it's, it's red, it is pretty, 
and it feels very comfortable. Anyways, this is the look. I decided I'd actually take a little bit of uh, Suva's Space Panda, which is not the best white liner, and I was like, fuck it, I'll put it on the lower lashes. It's nowhere near as good as the Artitude, but I'm like, I have it, I'll use it, and I don't mind messing this one up. It's not as pigmented. Anyways, this is the look. I added some gems. Are we that surprised? Not really. Is this very complicated? No. Fuck it, I gave it a go. And while I love having my fringe, it does sometimes hide these looks a little bit, but your look, you get the general gist. And now without the fringe or the glasses, you can hopefully get a better idea of what it was that I did. I did clean up around here and uh, I added some gems, five on each side, because five is my favorite number. Can't help it, I'm very, very strange. Um, yeah, it all blended out pretty darn well. I think. But yeah, that's it. It's a very super simple look. Can't be asked to do much more. But I did use some tricky colours like the yellows, etc., to see how they would perform. And based on that, I'm actually quite happy with it. Now, given the fact that I've only used this twice, um, I am reluctant to give an overall review, but I did use, I'd say what, maybe nine or ten different shades, and I have to say I was pretty darn pleased with them. Um, I was a little bit underwhelmed with the shade Heather, um, but oh my lord, the, the shade space, that, that, that is a nice one. Their shimmers are always great. Um, I think the palette in all performs really really well so far and I'm looking forward to playing with this more let me know if you want to see me do more things with this or if you're like a one and done kind of a bitch which fair I'll play with this in the background but based upon what I've tried yeah I'm very happy with recommending it I'm not going to give you a, a rank out of 10 just just because I haven't had enough play time with it but so far I do really enjoy it I think it's a it's a good buy and like I said a big chunk of this the whole thing is going towards LGBTYS for the month of June so if that isn't a good enough reason to buy it well then don't bother you know <laughs> like that's what pushed me over the edge when I when I did see this but that's it do please find me on TikTok and Instagram I do some little bits over there as well mostly in terms of new makeup releases so if you want to see more content that's where you go uh, but that is it that is the end of the video do please like comment and subscribe turn on that notification bell and do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it comes to an STD in which case you know wrap it up don't be gross that's it that's the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one bye Thank you.